the channel, guys. We've been showing y'all a lot of C8, C7, and even a lot of the new Ford and new Ram and Dodge uh, stuff here recently. Uh, for you GM owners out there, do not forget about the C6 platform. Um, the base 05, the LS2 motor in it with the LS3, the 08 to 2013s, and especially the C6 ZR1s behind me. Um, 6.2 liter LS9 from the factory, the 2300 supercharger. GM gave us a great platform to start with to do simple mods to it to make it even better. And this one behind me is an incredible build. I'll tell you more about it as we go test drive. It's a little bit better in the mid-range yeah. and a little bit better up top. Um, Alright, so last pull on Mr. Elephant's C6 ZR1. 967, 935 rear wheel torque. This car came in with headers and exhaust already on it. It had a uh, one in seven eighths headers with uh, Borla exhaust. This is a stock short block still, so I'm gonna leave it the way it sits right now at this horsepower level. Uh, I'm gonna go street drive it tomorrow, the next day, hopefully get y'all some 6130s if I can. Um, and then we'll bring it back for headers to get over four digits. Beautiful. Doesn't look like it, but it's a 10 year old C6 ZR1 Corvette behind me. It is Mr. Oliphant's. Uh, he does live here in Houston, Texas. Been a good client of mine for the past 15 years. Uh, we actually built him a C6 ZR1, I think back in 2012. We did our normal cold air cam and headers on it. A little 700 rear wheel horsepower car. Uh, he's a big gearhead, has multiple cars, multiple vehicles. He got this one um, not too long ago. Uh, beautiful Inferno Orange 2013, so it is a 60th anniversary and wanted to go with more than his 700 horsepower that he had back in the day. So we did our complete 1200 horsepower package on it. It's essentially a full build with a stock short block. So complete heads, cam, 2650 supercharger and all the fuel upgrades and drivetrain upgrades to go along with it. And we're about to go test drive it right now. I'm just saving my last log of uh, that Pro Charger C8 we just got to test drive. Obviously, we're checking for the basic exhaust rattles and stuff like that, right? With the, you put all new exhaust on a car, you pull a motor out, put it back in. 
um, but also we data log every vehicle while I'm test driving it. So stuff I'm looking for is obviously fuel pressure, make sure everything's happy on that end, make sure injectors are good, make sure the duty cycle's not too high, and obviously we don't want detonation or anything like that, so we always gotta check uh, you know, the timing and the air fuel and just make sure everything's perfect. Um, especially when it comes to these cars making a thousand plus horsepower, all it takes is uh, fuel pressure to drop or injector nuts to be the right size injector in the car and it goes lean and hurts the motor so we're always data logging making sure everything's fine and again on a setup like this this car has a complete aftermarket fuel system so it has three pumps in the tank uh, one pump turns on for just normal driving around town once it sees boost the other two pumps come on to give us all the fuel pressure we need to be able to supply a thousand rear wheel horsepower on e85 so I'm gonna data log it while we go have some fun. This car sounds so good with the cam selection the exhaust and this one in particular with the Borla mufflers on it um, it's obviously a lot louder than most C6's with the factory dual mode uh, that you can open and close to make it you know quiet when you're on the highway this one you're loud all the time but it's a weekend toy for this customer so I know he's not worried about that at all this thing sounds incredible my channels yeah so like I said previously guys we've been showing we build a whole bunch of C7 the new C8 Corvettes every week but do know we still build plenty of C6 Corvettes again these platforms when they first came out back in the day were just the cylinder heads on the LS3s uh, were a big jump up from the LS2 back in 2008 and then when they came out with this LS9 a supercharged 6.2 liter motor with a 2300 supercharger on it it was awesome as the GM gave us a great platform to do simple mods to turn the boost up a little bit to get an extra 100 horsepower very easily and in this particular case uh, this customer has multiple vehicles from Lamborghinis to Vipers to a whole bunch of different exotics and he wanted a car that is a true muscle car with three pedals on it he wants to feel like he's driving a muscle car with horsepower and in my opinion I think we gave him the perfect setup this car here has our complete heads cam package um, again these things come with 2300 uh, superchargers from the factory which we do port um, and we do make great numbers with those as well but in this case I went ahead and put a 2650 supercharger on it um, obviously headers and the exhaust that it came with and then obviously we have to do a complete fuel system to support a thousand rear wheel horsepower so it's got three pumps in the tank uh, one pump is right now running just to idle and drive the car once the car sees boost the other two pumps kick in but this is for you guys out there with the c6 platform this zr1 is a special car um a the zr1 when it came out is just uh, i think it was one of the first corvettes that were probably close to a hundred thousand dollars sticker um so it was an expensive corvette but what you get for the money on these cars even now is truly incredible we can take this car and this one's a very low mileage car only has 10,000 miles on it mint condition but even one with 50,000 miles on it we can do the same setup heads cam replace the lifter so everything's pretty fresh in the motor and still have nothing to worry about when it comes to reliability you know we build these cars with extra horsepower but we also do the drive trains everything right so you can't hop in these things and beat on them
like a gear spun really bad. And I got traction control on, so it kicked in really hard. And then third gear, this thing just rolls. And we are on a Toyo Triple Eight, so it's not like it's on factory tires. Um, this is a raw muscle car, horsepower, feel. Sounds like it, and it's a. Uh, I don't know. It's just a. It's a car that you love to drive. Is the best way to describe it. Um, you have to be on your game when you're driving a car like this. Uh, traction control off, especially. Um, this thing will spin the tires, you know, up to 80, 100 miles an hour if you wanted to. But he owned a previous ZR1 uh, that made roughly 700 rear wheel horsepower. Uh, I think we built for him literally uh, like 10 years ago. And when he got this car, he sent it to me. He's like, Steven, I want a car that I can go out on the weekends and I want it to feel like a muscle car and be able to outrun 90% of the cars on the road. He likes doing like the roll racing, like 60 to 130 stuff. And I think we delivered on that. Now again, this is still a stock short block. So we, I say we're only pushing it. I mean, it's still making 20 pounds of boost, um, but I'm doing it reliably where you can hop in this car, drive it every day, go on the weekends, go 60 to 130s or go drag race it and not have anything to worry about. Um, I will say one thing that I missed on this build, uh, the car came in with the headers and exhaust already. I assumed it had a two inch header on it and not until we actually put the car back together did I realize it only had a one and three quarter header on it, which is a smaller diameter header than I'd like with a three inch collector, which is normal for a, a bolt on car is normally fine. But in this case, um, you know, the engine's a big air pump. We're forcing 20 pounds of boost into the motor. I want to try to get it out, obviously, as, as quick as possible. So we went ahead and uh, ordered my golf car race header. It's a two inch, stepped to two and an eighth inch header with a three and a half inch collector. And I'm hoping that makes the exhaust that much more efficient to give us, this, I'm hoping for a solid 40, 50 river horsepower gains over where we're at right now. But even so, this car on this platform is super quick. Um, like I said, first and second gear, you gotta be really on your game. Third gear, you can put it in third gear at like 3,000 RPMs, flat foot it, and it just goes. So yeah, those of you out there with the C6 platform, go to our new website, check out our packages. We have anything from your 05 LS2 to your 08 to 13 LS3s, and then obviously the bad boy, I call it, the LS9 C6 ZR1, and this car being super rare, the Inferno Orange 2013 60th anniversary. I think they only built like seven of these cars, my guys told me they looked it up, uh, in this color. So I appreciate Garrett, as always, giving me the opportunity to build him uh, his performance cars. I love doing it, and I love it when they come out just the way I envisioned building it, because this is a car, like I said, it now runs as good as it looks. And with the Forge Line wheels on it, with the clutch in it, the drivetrain components, this is now a nice, reliable, thousand rear wheel horsepower car it's it's kind of hard to say these days a, a thousand rear wheel horsepower reliable i know people throw out that number a thousand horsepower all the time most times they're talking about flywheel uh numbers so not to the actual rear wheels so to be able to give someone a hand them the keys with a thousand rear wheel horsepower car and say take it go enjoy it and beat on have nothing to worry about especially this one being a stock short block that's why i kept it at that boost level and the horsepower that it's at now later on that we put the bigger headers on it we'll see what it makes and if Garrett gets used to it in this form right here that's when we'll go ahead and pull the motor out build the short block turn this supercharger even harder to try to make 11 1200 rear horsepower but put it in third gear 3000 rpms
seven CR ones that we build all the time that y'all see our videos. Um, you know, they're in the four second range, 60 to 130, depending on, you know, automatic or manual, uh, whether it's a high four or a low four second, 60 to 130, uh, obviously what, what fuel the customer's running and what we set it up for. Um, this car should run, I'm gonna say, a low five, um, hopefully it'll run a four second, 60 to 130, and I'm probably gonna try it in third gear um, only, just so I don't have to worry about traction issues. And that way if it does, you know, what I think it will do, there'll be no need to do second. We just know it'll run even quicker if I can do second gear. But you gotta be able to shift it the two to three really good. And again, I know the new cars have the seven speed manuals in them. These with the TR6060s are still one of my favorite transmissions to drive. With the right clutch setup and the right shifter, um, you can no lift shift these cars. And man, they are incredible. Again, going back 15 years, however long, 2009, this thing, this platform first came out. We did our basic, same thing, heads cam, um, on race gas. Like the first month uh, this platform came out, we made it right at over 800 rear wheel horsepower, took it to the drag strip, went a 930 at like 146. Um, a car like this now, with all the right drivetrain components and CV axles and everything in it, uh, this car will be an eight second car, uh, which is crazy to say uh, you're driving on an eight second street car, especially with three pedals and it banging gears, but it's a fun car to drive. And again, I, can, I can't reiterate it enough to you C6 owners out there, do not forget about this platform. If you are looking to mod it, even just simple bolt-ons to it, give us a call, check out our website. We have several different packages from just naturally aspirated stuff to boosted stuff. And especially these C6 ZR1s, we have different levels, whether you just want to add another 50 to 100 horsepower, or if you want to add another 500 horsepower to it, we can do it very reliably in a car that you will absolutely love to enjoy. And uh, yeah. these cars all the time but that right there never gets old it puts a smile on my face every time every time it just rips dude i want to do this every day <laughs> yeah i hate my job it's a wonderful job oh man i love it like i said you build them right though even with a thousand horsepower you still get to give a customer a nice reliable car that he can really drive every day if you wanted to but like I said, someone like this is just a weekend toy, you know? I'm gonna buy a weekend toy. This is, again, uh, I talked about it earlier in the other video. Uh, you know, everyone wants the C7 and the C8s, um, but the C6, in my opinion, is still a great platform. Whether you buy a regular LS3, like an 08 Corvette, uh, we do, you know, cam and headers to it. You have a 500 rear horsepower naturally aspirated car. Some people don't like supercharging or boosting them. So we do uh, NA builds. And again, those things respond very well. Um, and if you do want to boost it, we boost them as well. We can put a little centrifugal supercharger on it, room style blower on that. Um, or you buy something like this already with a big blower on it. And uh, we just do simple bolt-ons to it to make pretty good power. You'll do it right. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds Thank so good. Thank you for the ride. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're so funny. I'm too tired. Show me your muscles. Too hungover. You like to show your muscles. Too hung. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> Get that right there. Move your titties. Huh? Move your titties. They're sore. How <laughs> they move? Yeah, that's good.